Hey guys, what's going on everybody? Lock it up gaming here and today we have we are starting another series. It's really special. I hope you guys do enjoy. And I was thinking the other day, um, I know you guys aren't the redstone pros, you know, but you know, my friends like you know, my friends are just having a hard time with redstone and stuff, so I thought I'd have a series to help them with redstone and my viewers and fans out there. Yeah, that's you guys. And so I thought I'd start up this series. It's going to be a redstone series wherever I teach my viewers how to basically redstone be to become from a new redstoner to a pro redstoner. I'm not exactly a pro redstoner. I am just intermediate, let's just say. I'm pro at some things like logic gates and circuits. I'm pro at that, but I'm not exactly pro at piston work. I'm uh, pro at commands, command blocks, command block logic gates and stuff like that. So yeah, I hope you guys do enjoy this series. Uh, hopefully you've been looking forward to it. I'll tell people about it. And let's get into the series. So basically, I'm gonna be using the Redstone Handbook to tell you guys about Redstone because that's where I learned about Redstone. So I guess I'd make it a little bit more entertaining than reading the Redstone Handbook. And plus it'd be free and on video so you can follow along anytime you want. So anyway, we're just going to start with the real basics of redstone and in survival. So basically, if you are in survival... Anyway, let's read it. Redstone ore is the raw mineable block from which you can get redstone dust. When mined in the PC Mac edition uh, with an iron, gold, or diamond pickaxe, each block will drop four to five pieces of redstone dust. Uh, this is in survival, so just let me show you this really quick. Sorry, I don't have Optifine on, but I do have Faithful on. And so, slash game mode, game mode S. So, if we go like this, it will drop four to five pieces. This time it dropped four. But if you enchant your pickaxe and do so wish to mine more redstone, I have a fortune level 1000 pickaxe that I just got a million redstone from. I don't even need it. So, let's get rid of that stuff over here. Oops, I forgot I was in game mode S. Game mode C. Slash game mode... Ah! I keep messing up on this command! Oh my god! So basically, as you can see, um, if you mine it with a chanted diamond or iron or gold pickaxe, it spawns uh, under level 16 and is uh, generally pretty useful stuff. So just, uh, if you didn't know, redstone is like the electricity um, in Minecraft. So um, if you are needing like electrical stuff, logic gates, if you need a door for your house, just a simple piston door, then you've come to the right place. So basically, redstone ore is found deep underground within 1 to 16 blocks of the bedrock layer. Time to get mining then. Just remember number one rule of Minecraft. Don't dig down like me. Okay? I always dig down. <laughs> anyway, um, let's see. If you're playing in creative mode, you'll have an infinite supply of redstone at your fingertips. If you're playing in survival, the easiest way to get redstone ore is to cheat and get a command block, press the button, and get... A fortune 1000 pickaxe! Look at that boss! Anyway, um, no, don't cheat in Minecraft, but I always do. Anyway, um, d like, not hacking. I never hack, okay? Hacking is a bad thing. But anyway, um, let's see. You can enchant your tools to, uh, make more redstone, as we already covered that. So let's move on. Redstone dust. We're gonna cover the properties of redstone dust. You guys have probably been looking forward to this part of the video. So basically, redstone dust is a electrical wire that conducts electricity. Now, redstone dust is pretty smart. I have if I do say so for myself. Um basically, all you have to do is connect the redstone or electricity to a power to a power consumer, which in this case is a sticky piston with a block. Um, if you push this lever, left click it, um, the piston extends. 
So basically, within a circuit, redstone dust acts like a wire. It carries redstone signal from a power source to another redstone item, such as a repeater, a piston, or a door. If you didn't know, doors could be activated by redstone too. Um, just a quick uh, reminder there. Um, you'll need to place uh, redstone ore on only the top, not the sides of the bottom. If you can see what I'm doing, I'm trying to left click this. You can hear this. Um, I can't, I can't place it on the side of the block, so, and it can only run on the side of a block, uh, not on the sides of the bottom. Placing several pieces of dust next to each other will create a wire, though. Very simple, like I, I just did. And, um, anyway, Redstone Dust Dude is pretty smart, but you can run, you can also run it up um, d uphill and downhill, but there are some limitations. So if I go like this, um, I will, I will see that I can connect redstone from the other block. Like say I place it right here and it automatically connects right there, right there. Um, anyway, if I connect those, but if I try to do something like this, I think this is a feature that should really be added, but I think it's already added with the glowstone stuff. Anyway, let's get away from that topic. As you can see, it can't go up walls, which is pretty sad. But as smart as it is, you need to tell the dust what to do. So, um, basically, uh, I'm going to show you an example of this. You can follow along if you want on your Minecraft 1.11.2. I am operating this on 1.11.2 if you didn't know right now. Uh, by the way, if you didn't know, Pocket Edition has different redstone properties, like, w like for example, this property. So you don't, on Pocket Edition, you do not have to direct it into uh, their power source. So if I stick pistons like that, uh, if I pull the lever, you notice th only this one pulls up. That is because the redstone needs to be connected at least one block and facing into the power source. So, but on Pocket Edition, this works. This works. I'll, I'll show you. So, like, I think you've seen it in my Redstone Archer range. If you look closely, I've connected uh, levers like that. Let me time set day really quick. You can't really see. Um, sorry about that. Um, anyway. Wait, is it, like, raining over there? Wow. That's actually a neat addition, Minecraft. Anyway, um. I'm glad it's not raining in the desert. By the way, I just set the biome size to one, so it's pretty small, the biomes. Lots of different types. So when the dust receives a signal from a power source, it can send that signal a maximum of 15 blocks before it runs out of signal strength. At that point, you can replace a repeater at the end of the wire and make the signal last another 15 blocks. Um, so yeah, let me, uh, demonstrate that really quick. Uh, there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Signal strength will run out there if we get a repeater. It repeats the signal. And you have another, uh, redstone dust. You can actually, uh, notice when the signal's getting low. As you can see, it's getting lower and lower and lower and lower and lower. But if you place it on the 15th block, it's not going to get any signal. And die cactus! No, just kidding. Um, so yeah, the redstone signal is now connected. And you now have a renewed redstone signal. Anyway, you can go back and watch. If you did not get that, please be free to do it. I'll leave you five seconds to go back and watch what I just did. One, two, three four five okay we're back now we're on to the redstone torch we're gonna learn about the redstone torch guys i hope you're excited so basically how a redstone torch works the redstone torch is turned on by default like this so whenever it receives a signal wait so whenever it receives a power or a redstone signal it actually turns off so like this can be used in uh power inverter circuits like that now there's a redstone torch turned off. You can turn it on and off. So basically that inverts your power if you are working inside a redstone circuit. Anyway, 
Uh, redstone torches are essential ingredient for redstone repeaters. Um, you craft them with two redstone torches, a stone block, and slabs. I think, um, redstone torches have a one tick delay when they are switched on or off. So when used in long chains, they can cause a few seconds delay, which you should factor into your calculations whenever you are building redstone creations. But, like I said, it's a lot easier to use a repeater, and we'll talk about that, those ticks, later. Um, I don't know if I should kill at E. Is there Slash Butcher? No, I don't have World Edit. Never mind. Um, yeah, this is a single-player world, not my bucket server. Um, anyway. Redstone tor t there's a tip. This is a tip. You should not use redstone torches in survival, because they only have a light level of seven. Drink of water really fast, sorry. They only have a half light, they have a light level of seven, which is half the light of an output of a regular torch. They won't melt ice or snow, so don't try to use them, and uh, stop, try to stop despawning mobs in your home in your first night. Not a good idea if you're watching this for survival purposes. Um, anyway, let's move on. A redstone repeater. This is my favorite in redstone because it, uh, actually, uh, in so like, it delays the signal. Let's, let's put it that way. It delays the signal. So as you can see, if I set something up really, really fast here, um, if I put a redstone repeater right here and I power it, of course, it also repeats the signal, which is a useful property. But another property is, if you turn this on, as you can see, there's kind of a little bit of a delay. But if you uh, set it to the third tick, there's a lot of a delay. On, on, off, off, like that. So you can factor that into your calculations whenever you're creating some awesome contraption after watching this video. Um, anyway, how a repeater works. The repeater will accept a signal at the back and then push it out the front, front as you can see. If, if, if you uh, put, try to put a signal in the front, it won't work. But if you try to put a signal in the back why am i putting down a cactus it will work you can kind of see because it has that little arrow right there anyway um to increase a redstone uh I, we already talked about that to create a delay between we already talked about that we are done with the redstone repeater you can craft the redstone repeater using torches redstone dust and stone not cobblestone stone anyway let's move on to the next thing and I'm just going to leave it with pistons for this episode. Um, so, I guess... Yeah, let's go to pistons. Anyway, pistons may just be the most revolutionary addition, addition into redstone because they allow circuits to physically move blocks around you. Um, when given power, a piston can push blocks in front of it and around... In front of it. Anyway... Piston recipe is three wood on top, two cobblestone on each side, wood, iron ingot, and one redstone dust. So you could craft that in survival. It's it's not hard to craft at all, but the sticky piston is hard because if you do not have a swamp biome, you need to go collect slime balls. And anyway, sticky piston. Wait, okay, it's pistons. Uh, did you know a single piston? can push up to 12 blocks at a time and it can push them in any direction so if i set up the picture right here uh let's get a redstone block out here um if i go like this i stick if i stick a uh sticky piston it doesn't really matter in this case but it will matter later in your redstone career hopefully uh you can also use it to pillar up faster if you didn't know um so if we can remove the rest of the block right now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So if we put twelve blocks right there, it will be able to push it. Push it in any direction, any twelve blocks. That's pretty versatile. I would say you could create basically anything. Uh it's really cool, but as you can see, it won't retract all of these because it only is stick to the one right one. We'll talk about slime blocks in the next episode. This is kind of an intro. We'll finish up 
Pistons next time on the video Redstone Handbook. I don't know what I call this. Um, let's call this series uh, become, Come from a Noob to Pro on Redstone. Noob to Pro on Redstone. That's what this series is going to be called. Noob to Pro on Redstone. I hope you guys did enjoy this episode of Noob to Pro, Noob to Pro Redstone teachings. If you did enjoy, be sure to drop a like down below it really helps and subscribe that really really helps comment on my videos on what type of video i should do next any game like any ideas and scrap mechanic all that stuff anyway i again thank you all for watching this video and as always nerd out <laughs>